Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Let's begin. This spread is for all water signs. Perhaps your story is in here, but there's also a separate spread just for your sign. We have the King of Swords, clarified by the Five of Wands. We have the Five of Cups. We have Strength, clarified by the Five of Pentacles and Temperance. And we also have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You could also be dealing with a Leo or um, a Sagittarius. Um, so somebody here wants to make things right with you, somebody here wants to get back together with you, reconcile with you, and that someone is the king of swords, the first guy that came out. It could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. What I do see here is this person is struggling. Um, perhaps this is somebody who has a really hard time apologizing or admitting they were wrong about something. Perhaps they were wrong about breaking up with you. Or the final fight that caused the breakup, that was their fault. And uh, it's just been an internal struggle for them to admit that. Right? Um, but uh, this week, this weekend, um, they will finally overcome that. And uh, they will come towards you with an apology. They will come towards with, to you with an offer to get back together, admitting that they were the one whose fault it was. Right? So the King of Swords, like I said, it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. We also have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. The Ace of Swords, this is them, I think, admitting. Uh, that they did something wrong. The Ace of Swords could be uh, some sort of truth coming out, right? So the truth is that they were the one who was wrong. The Ace of Swords is also a brand new beginning with um, clean slate. So they will ask for forgiveness, they will ask for a second chance with you. But first this person went through this process inside their head. Uh, first of all, the King of Swords is clarified by the Five of Wands. I think this is their own struggle inside their head to admit their guilt, right? Uh, then we also got the Five of Cups right there, right next to the King of Swords. This is a card of a regret. So I think this person is going through stages, right? Uh, denial, grief, uh, and then acceptance, <laughs> right? So denial is the Five of Wands. This is the struggle. The Five of Wands is the next step towards um, admitting their guilt, right? And then we have strength clarified by the Five of Pentacles and Temperance. Strength is either a Leo you're dealing with, but I think strength, this is them actually having the actual strength to um, admit that they were wrong. The Five of Pentacles, clarifying strength, uh, uh, this is uh, them feeling left out in the cold, feeling miserable without you because they love you, they want you back, they miss you, and uh, Temperance, it's all about healing, it's all about bearing the hatchet, it's all about reconciliations. I think this person is pretty much is going to be at your mercy, what are signs? Um, so hopefully you can forgive and forget, alright? Cool. Cancer. We have the star, we have the eight of wands clarified by the ace of cups, we have the two of cups clarified by the king of wands, and we also have the magician on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. A very intense weekend lays ahead for you, Cancer, but I think you're going to be totally cool with that. <laughs> and by intense, I mean this person, this king of wands right next to the deck. Uh, this person is coming in and uh, I think they're going to be really persistent. They really, really want you. They really, truly do. I'm not just saying that. I think in this person's mind, the two of you are already together. Uh, you are their wish come true. They have been manifesting you into their life. Or once the two of you get acquainted over the weekend, they will just start taking action towards you. <laughs> right? So, like I said, the king of wands could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. I believe the magician on the bottom of the deck, this is also them. This is also their action that they're taking towards you. The magician is um, somebody who manifests someone or something into their life. And in this case, this is this king of wands manifesting you, <laughs> cancer, into their life. Um, the magician is also a card of action. So they're not just sitting somewhere and thinking about you. They're taking action, right? 
Uh, the star, the first card I came out uh, on the left, this is a card of um, an Aquarius. This person could be an Aquarius, by the way, if it's not a fire sign. Or in this particular spread, most likely the star is a card of a wish come true. So once the two of you get acquainted, uh, this person will immediately see you as their wish come true. As a matter of fact, this person is going to fall for you hard. Fall for you hard. The next card that came out is the Eight of Wands and it's qualified by the Ace of Cups. Right? The Eight of Wands is a card of communication. This is a card of Cupid's arrows. So like I said, this person is falling hard for you because behind the scenes there's this Cupid working on your behalf <laughs> and striking this King of Wands with an arrow of love. Speaking of love, the Eight of Wands is qualified by the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to love. This is an offer coming from this King of Wands. The Ace of Cups is always about genuine, authentic love offers. And uh, I forgot to mention the Two of Cups that the King of Wands is clarifying. The Two of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to love. This is a card of a soulmate connection. This is a card of unconditional love. And uh, it's a card of two people being on the same page and the feelings they have for each other are mutual, right? So this person is in hard pursuit after you. Um, cancer, I, and uh, I think you're gonna like it. I think you're gonna like what this person has to offer, the way they court you, the way they approach you, the things they do for you, the things they say. Um, and um, hopefully the two of you can move forward together, all right? Scorpio, we have the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Fool, we have Strength, and we also have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Leo or pretty much any sign. This is a general reading. We got three major Arcana cards on the table and uh, the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. It's it's amazing, Scorpio. There is a new beginning for you. There's definitely a new beginning for you. It could be um, love related, but it could also be related to uh, work, business, and finances in some shape or form. So the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. This is um, a golden opportunity. It could be um, an offer to start a new job, to start a new business together, or it could be you envisioning something in the future. If you're thinking about starting a new, a new business by yourself, you are going to see that it's going to pay off with the Ace of Pentacles. This new beginning is a golden opportunity with a very long-term potential here, right? Um, for others of you, the Ace of Pentacles could be coming from somebody and it could be love-related. The Ace of Pentacles is still a golden opportunity. Um, whenever I see the Ace of Pentacles, that means that the person making the offer is serious. They're ready to settle down. They're ready to start a family. They're thinking long-term, right? And uh, you're taking a plunge. You are moving ahead with this offer, with this opportunity. Strength, right next to the deck, is the personal Leo card. You could be dealing with a Leo. Or strength is you having the actual strength to move forward. Perhaps you have uh, some fears about this new beginning or about this particular person. But you're going to overcome it. Strength is all about passion as well, so you're going to get really passionate about it. And uh, the Wheel of Fortune with the Fool, the first two cards on the left, both cards are about starting something brand spanking new. The Wheel of Fortune is the start of a new cycle, and the Fool is just a brand new beginning. So you're taking the leap of faith with the Fool, and uh, you're going to believe that it's going to work out. Either um, in your situation, if you're start in your uh, personal situation where you're starting something new by yourself, or you will just believe that is going to work out between you and this person. And uh, there is no cards on the table suggesting otherwise. So if you're thinking about starting something, if you're thinking about uh, starting a relationship with someone or starting a new job, starting a new business on your own, go ahead. The universe is on your side. The spread is a huge green light. All right, cool. Pisces, we have the Magician, clarified by the Emperor. We have uh, the Harpent. We have the Hangman, clarified by the Fool. And we also have the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus or another uh, Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or another Pisces. Well, um, we've got five major Arcana cards on the table. Pisces, and we also have the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. And I believe the Queen of Cups is you. Um, Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter, and it's going to be a very important weekend. I think some of you will be making a decision to get married. That's 
pretty much all I see here. Marriage. <laughs> to be honest with you. If it's not marriage, then um, this is the two of you taking this relationship to the next level, taking this connection to the next level, whatever that level is for you. Right? And uh, this person is uh, either proposing to you or this person is going to make you an offer that's going to re be really hard for you to refuse even though you will take a little time or perhaps this person has taken time before they proposed to you or before they made you this offer right um, so the magician the first card came out is clarified by the emperor the emperor is the personal Aries card um, or if it's not an Aries then uh, the emperor is somebody who is stepping up the emperor often comes through as the future husband or the future significant other figure, right? Then the magician is all about taking action. The magician knows he's got or she's got all the tools they need at their disposal and they're using them. The magician is, like I said, taking action, right? Uh, the next card out. The next card that came out is the Hierophant. The Hierophant is the personal Taurus card, so you could be dealing with the Taurus. Or the Hierophant is about something traditional like a committed relationship or marriage. The next card I came out is the Hangman. The Hangman is either a light bulb moment that goes inside of the Emperor's head <laughs> that they finally have to come and uh, make you this offer. Or the Hangman is a situation that was stuck prior to this weekend that was not moving anywhere, right? Because this person was not stepping up because this person was scared crapless. But this weekend they are making a move towards you. The hangman is clarified by the fool. The fool is taking a leap of faith. So this is what was um, hanging in there. This is what was not happening. The fool, the new beginning. But this weekend there is going to be a new beginning between, between the two of you or an elevation um, to the next level. And that's what symbolized the new beginning for you on the next level up. Right? So, uh, yeah. Five major arcana cards, one of them is the Hierophant, and we also got the Emperor. These are all great major arcana cards. And uh, there's you, <laughs> the Queen of Cups. Alright, cool. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you, and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.